All right, fifth grade. Lesson 31, pairs of lines and angles. I want you to write all these terms that are in blue over here. I want you to write them down uh, in your math notebook, please. So parallel lines, perpendicular lines, oblique lines, intersecting lines. Parallel lines, lines that always stay the same distance apart. So if you put your arms like this, that is parallel. Or like this, that is parallel. Parallel lines. We can make an illustration. These are parallel lines. Right here. Perpendicular lines. Lines that form to uh, a right angle. So if you put your arms like this, like make a plus sign, those are perpendicular lines. Or like this, or like an X, those are perpendicular lines. So these would be lines, a drawing of lines that are perpendicular. They meet and they make a right angle where they meet. Then you have oblique lines. These are lines that are neither parallel nor perpendicular. So they're not like this or this or this or this, but they're just a little bit off. A little bit off one way or the other. So this would be an example of oblique lines. I have one that goes like that and one that goes like this. When they meet, they're not going to meet and form a perfect 90 degree angle, uh, but they're not parallel either. And then intersecting lines, any lines that will touch each other eventually, that will intersect. So perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, oblique lines are also intersecting lines. Parallel lines are not intersecting lines. Those would be the only ones that aren't. All right. If you still need this, just pause the video to write these down so you can have, have this in your math notebook. Angles. You have four types of angles here. Acute, right, obtuse, and straight. An acute angle is something that is less than 90 degrees. So like that would be an acute angle here. A right angle would be exactly 90 degrees, or for a, form a perfect square edge, right there. An obtuse angle would be anything that is greater than 90 degrees, so this would be an obtuse angle. And straight is flat, there is no change in angle, so this would be a straight angle here. Okay, So write all three of those down too, write an example for each. Some students have difficulty creating an obtuse angle. I always just start flat, and then I raise up at the end. Or you start flat, and then you make your raise up at the end of there. All right, so if you need to pause to copy the rest of these down, go ahead and do that. Draw a pair of oblique lines. Hmm. Oblique lines. Now, if you have this written down, you already have it in front of you. Oblique lines are lines that aren't parallel, they aren't perpendicular. Um, so I'm just going to draw like this. There's one of my lines, and the other one I'm going to draw like this. There, oblique lines. They're not parallel, but they're not perpendicular either. We draw two lines that intersect but that do not form square corners. Many arrangements are possible. So this is another example of an oblique pair of lines. Which of the following figures does not appear to contain perpendicular segments? Does not have perpendicular. So remember perpendicular, they form a perfect square edge. Right? So uh, this one has perfect square edges. This one does as well. This one looks like it does. So it would be C. C does not contain perpendicular segments. And then which of these angles appears to be a right angle? Right angle would mean it's perfectly square. And looking through these, it can't be that one, can't be that one, can't be that one. B is our right angle right here, perfect square. All right, here's what your lesson practice looks like. If you have any questions, ask me during math class.